Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Gina. And in addition to running this YouTube channel, I also run an online plant shop called thepinktrellis.com where I sell propagations from many of the plants that you see right here on this channel every week. And um, I sell them in my plant shop. And so I do update that plant shop every week but every other week I do like a super big update in the shop and then when I do the big update the big big update I share those plants with you right here so you can see what what is available the plants I show you right here are the exact plants you're going to receive when you order from my shop it's always that's always the case unless I am selling multiples of a plant where I'll just picture show a picture of one example of the plant. However, even still, it might not be the exact plant you're getting, but it's gonna be very similar looking, um, same size or even bigger than what is shown in the photo. So yeah, so uh, I have a lot, I got a lot of new stuff. Lots of new things this week. I'm super excited about it. So we're, I have two grow tents. We're starting out right here in the Hoya tent. Um, it's majority Hoya in here. I do have Dyskidias also, and I do have some like stragglers. <laughs> um, and what I mean by stragglers are I do have some Peperomias in here also, and I have lipstick plants in here, and Dyskidia. Did I say that already? Dyskidia? So this tent has Hoya, Dyskidia, Peperomia, lipstick plant, and I think that's it. Majority, majority Hoya. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start with a crowd favorite. I have a Hoya Linearis available in this week's shop update. And I think I'm just, I think it's just one. I think just one this week. Um, yeah, just one. Well, depending, depending on um, I, I, I don't like to have more than like 40 or so plants in an update to just for me because I'm the one that does like all the packing and um, it takes me hours, many, many hours to get your, your packages ready and um, packing all the plants up. So, so we'll see. We'll see. It, it most likely just one linearis, but possibly two possibly so if you have been looking for a nice hoy linearis check my shop and because this one for sure for sure this one will be in in this update so cute all right next up another um hoya this is the hoya polyneura silver which is silver it's a beautiful, just gorgeous, the, the coloration on this, on these plants. So there's, there's like three different types of polyneura. There might even be more than that, but as far as I know, as, that I can remember, there's the silver version, there's just a plain green version, and then there's a variegated version. And this is the silver, and this will be in the shop. It is a nice, long, beautiful gorgeous specimen for you. I was just checking to see if there's any sign of new leaves opening. These are the two, obviously, two newest leaves. And yeah, I see, I see the growth point and there will be more leaves coming in the near future for you. So Hoya Polyneura silver in the shop. So I have one now, I, I have had this in the shop in the past, but it has been a couple months since it's been available. And that would be, this is a lipstick plant. This is the Thai pink lipstick plant. Gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Look how, <laughs> look, three growth points on this plant. And I think this is the biggest I've ever sold. Like. Because I usually, I, I sell starter plants, they're smaller plants, but these have just taken off and I have quite a few actually. So if you miss out on this one, I'm just posting one in this update. If you miss out on this one, there will be more 
probably every single update that I do. At least, yeah, yeah, for a few weeks. Um, but yeah, that's Thai Pink Lipstick Plant. If you are not familiar with this plant, it gets the most beautiful pink blooms. It's just gorgeous. And I'll put a picture up of what those blooms look like. It's absolutely stunning. And the shape of the leaves is so cute. Kind of, kind of round, yet kind of heart-shaped a little bit. And yeah, it's just a fabulous plant, a must-have. Very similar care to Hoya, which is why I keep these in the tent with the Hoya. Now, I think this is a new one. This is a Hoya. I don't think I've had this one in, the, in, this, in my shop updates yes, yet. So this is Hoya Nova Ghost. And I may have had one once before, but I don't think so. But look at the beautiful, gorgeous, silver. It's a silvery plant. It's got a really nice growth point on it with baby leaves. One here, 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 and more. And that's going to be popping out up here. Super nice specimen for you. Hoya Nova Ghost. Gorgeous. I love this leaf. I mean, this is more silvery than this one, but I just kind of like that speckly look to this plant. Love it. And a new, another, okay, there's a lot of new stuff in the, in the shop this week. This is a Hoya Bella. So this is just your plain green, your OG Hoya Bella plant, but so nice and full. So many growth points on this plant. One, two, three, four, five. Five? One, two, three, four, five. I think it's like five um, growth points. Beautiful, just a lovely plant, a lovely Hoya must have in the collection. And first time in the shop. Love it. Another first timer, a large leaf Hoya. So this is Hoya Michelle. Okay, well, it's, it looks like you pronounce it Michelle. However, I think it's McKelly, possibly French. I don't know, <laughs> but we're just gonna say it how it looks, how it's spelled, Hoya Michelle Splash. Look at this gorgeous splash on this plant. Nice big leaf. This is the newest leaf grew. So this was the original leaf when I made the propagation and then it popped out this new leaf here. And then I don't know if you can see, but right, right here is right there is the growth point where new a nice long vine is going to be growing out of there and more leaves will be growing out of that vine. So Hoya Michelle, Michelle Splash in this week's shop update for the first time. Definitely a, a must have for the, for the large leaf Hoya lover. Yeah. And the leaves get, I'm just looking, I'm looking at the mother plant here. They get big, big, nice, big leaves. All right, one, we'll go to, I have more new ones, but we'll go to one that's been in the shop in the past. This is Hoya Pandorata. Love this plant. It, it feels like, it feels like a, a Syngonium Chia Pens. It has that same kind of smooth, rubbery feel to it. Um, two newest leaves. These were the originals. These, they grew this nice big growth point here. Two new leaves here, and there are more leaves on the way. Hoya Pandorata in the shop. And, all right, well, I only have two new new ones to the shop uh, on this tray here to show you. So we're just going to, oh, actually I have shown, I have sold one of these before. So this is Hoya Rhyme Splash. Another one with really nice splashiness to those leaves. It's got a nice long vine on it. 
and a tiny little baby leaf right there. This is still soft, still hardening, still getting bigger. They get big leaves. They get pretty, another nice large leaf Hoya. So that's Hoya Rhyme Splash in this week's shop update. This is a new one for sure. <laughs> so I have another Hoya Polyneura, except this is variegated. So this has the outside variegation, um, possibly recalled um, Hoya Polyneura Albo Marginata. Typically when your variegation is on the outside of the leaf, it's called Albo Marginata. Um, yeah, beautiful, right? So these are the original leaves that I cut from my mother plant, and then it popped out these two, and it popped out these two, and there are more getting ready to pop out. So, yeah, gorgeous plant. Holly Pier Pol Hoya, <laughs> did I say Holly? Hoya Polyneura Variegated. Love it. And then the last one on this tray is a Dyskidia, which I have had in the shop in the past, but it has been a while since I have. So this is Hoya, <laughs> this is Dyskidia Hirsuta. And it's just another really cute small leaf. A lot of Dyskidia are small leaf. Um, however, this one, I love the texture, like the patterning on this. It is, it does have a texture to it and it is fuzzy. I don't know if that is picked up on the camera, but it does have fuzziness to it. And I always think it kind of looks like a turtle shell. Can you kind of see that? It looks like little turtles to me. And this one does bloom, all Dyskidia bloom, but this one gets really cute, hot pink flowers. And I'll put a picture up if I still have it, <laughs> of my mother plant blooming. Um, but this one has really nice long vines on it and another growth point right here. And it's just a great little specimen to start your Dyskidia collection. If you haven't, if you haven't fallen down that rabbit hole yet, <laughs> um, yeah, it's a fun one. It's a fun hole to fall in. Okay, this tray's done. I have another full tray down here. And yeah, hang on. <laughs> okay, new stuff. Oh, oh, okay, first old stuff, but new, more new stuff coming. So I have another Dyskidia for you. So this is the Dyskidia philippinensis. And it looks very similar to a Hoya. Um, it looks like kind of has a look of a shepherdy eye, if you like that look. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice, has a really nice shape to the leaves and a very, very prolific grower and one that I know you would enjoy. Dyskidia philippinensis. I have another tall, <laughs> these guys grow so fast. It's like I, I try to sell them when they're not quite so tall just for easier packing, but they just grow like they grow so fast. Like I think even since I pulled this plant to sell in the shop update, it has given the, this, these two new leaves and more here <laughs> on the way so and there's like three growth points on this plant and it's just it's a lovely Hoya there's one here and always like <laughs> it attacks me during these um, plant shop updates but yeah it's just it's a fa fantastic one and I always say it reminds me of bamboo leaves if you're familiar with those look like um, yeah, Hoya Bermanica, did I say? Hoya Bermanica in the shop this week. And let's see, okay, a new one, one that has not been in the shop before. So this is Hoya Crassi Petiolata Splash. 
Look. I love, okay, so this is a, I don't think these leaves get huge. I think they, they stay on the smaller side, I think. I think so. Um, but look at that beautiful veining on those leaves and splashiness of the leaves. Kind of a slow grower in my experience, at least after, after propagating. Um, that's been in my experience, so. Uh, but yeah, but this one has a really nice, big, tall vine for you with, you know, like there's one leaf here, but you see there's another one that will be opening on this vine. And yeah, there's more leaves that will be opening up here. So that's Hoya Crassio, Cress, Cressi Petiolata Splash. A tall one. And then I have another gorgeous Hoya Lacunosa Amarillo. Love this beautiful lemony, kind of lemony yellow and green and mottled and just stunning. Just a stunning Hoya. Beautiful specimen for you. This is in the shop, this, this update. Love it. I think I only have, I only have one more after this one. So for, I mean, I have more growing, but only have this one and one other one ready to go. So if you've been wanting to get one of those, do not hesitate. I mean, there'll be more. It's just going to be a while. So I do have another Hoya Lori Lynn. It's been a few weeks since this one has been available in my shop. Love the, the difference between this one and um, like the uh, Yetii variegated is your, your variegation is on the outside of the leaves, as you can see. And also it gets this gorgeous pink coloration see that pink these are the two this these two are the newest leaves here still kind of soft but yeah gorgeous gorgeous plant in this shop update and i have another hoya retusa for you guys beautiful love the hoya retusa underrated if you ask me a more common Hoya, but just, I love it. It's one of my absolute favorite uh, common Hoya, Hoya Retusa. Nice long vine here for you. Another one growing nicely here. And yeah, super cute. And the next two are new to the shop. So I have a Hoya Lacunosa Silver Lime. So you have your silvery splash. It's hard to capture it. A limey green with silver splash. Really pretty. That is available. Nice big growth point for you there. And last, last one in this tent. New one. This is the Hoya Dekie, which is super cute. It has that very unique shape. Um, so there's the Hoya Carii that has the hard shape. This is almost like a Hoya Carii, except the leaves are kind of rectangular shaped. Hard to describe, but see that shape to them? Classic. Dekia shape. Beautiful plant. Two new leaves here. Still soft and your growth point right in the center where more gorgeous leaves will be coming out for you guys. So yeah, Hoya Dekia. Love it. I just love this one. New to the shop. Available this week. Okay, now we're going to head to grow tent number two. 
for some more fun stuff. All right, welcome to grow tent number two. So I have a, I have a lot, I have a lot, <laughs> I have a lot of cute stuff. So yeah. So by the way, if you are like not in the market for plants, I hope you still enjoy just seeing so many cute plants in my little oasis here. All right. What's that noise? Oh. That was my um, humidifier <laughs> making a really weird sound. Okay, let's get started. So, first off, I have this Syngonium Pink Splash Illusion, which if you are into pink plants, you will love this, absolutely love it. It gets the most beautiful pink spotting on that perfectly green background. This one's interesting. It's almost like kind of kind of half moonish, um, half pink, half green with the pink spotting. Stunning plant, gorgeous, gorgeous pink syngonium, pink splash illusion. And then I have another syngonium for you. This is the uh, Three Kings with that beautiful variegation on those leaves. If you love Syngonium and you don't have this one yet, highly recommend it. It is gorgeous. Um, I have another Syngonium for you. This is the uh, Strawberry Ice, which look at the more, more gorgeous pink. Um, yeah, and if you um, every now and then it will throw out a leaf that gives you some lighter like white and a whitish pink, light pink variegation. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful combination. Um, that's strawberry ice. And I have a Syngonium Mojito with some really beautiful variegation to those leaves. Really pretty. Syngonium mojito. It does need a repot. A lot of times the syngoniums need a potting because they just they like to outgrow their their pots like the roots. They love to grow roots. They are root growers. So that's the mojito. And I have a syngonium batik. Another really beautiful variegated looking gorgeous patterning on this plant nice big one for you very rooted syngonium batik and i have another <laughs> i have a lot of syngonium this is the antal this is the syngonium aria it gets it's like very similar to the elbow except it gets um, instead of white variegation, it gets yellow variegation. So this is an older leaf here in my hand. You can see as the leaf matures that variegation, the yellow variegation really pops. It really turns a yellow color. You can see that here. Also, this is a newer leaf. This, this will all pop bright yellow. And then this newest leaf looks half moonish that will pop so yeah stunning plant if you are into like the elbows and the arias it's very pretty another syngonium this is the lance leaf love the shape of these leaves just really really cute syngonium lance leaf one of my favorites just because it's just so different. It's not your classic arrowhead type of leaf like some of the others we've just looked at. It's, it's more of a narrow, a narrow, as you can see, thin leaf. And then as the plant gets older, it gets very lobey. So 
and you can see the lobes here, but they get even more pronounced. And I have, we'll just do all the syngonium first, I guess. And then I have a syngonium panda. Just recently watered these guys, so they're a little drippy. But look at the beautiful patterning on these. Kind of a galaxy look to it. Panda galaxy. Here, it's like millions of stars. Very pretty, Syngonium Panda. And uh, let's see. Um, oh, this is a Syngonium Frosted Heart, which is another one like the Lance Leaf. It's a different shape, it has a different shape to the leaves, kind of a heart shape, kind of a philodendron shape to those leaves, not your classic Syngonium Arrowhead look and frosty. It has a frosty, just beautiful. Love this. One of my favorites. Gorgeous. Syngonium frosted heart. And then, let's see, I think this is the last Syngonium in this update. And it's a large Syngonium chia pence. Love these guys. Love the texture of these leaves. Beautiful dark green latex. Feels like latex, so smooth. New leaf about to open here. Nice large plant for you, Syngonium Chia Pens. Okay, so I believe that is all, that's all the Syngonium. So let's do, I have one now I have two philodendrons, so the first one is the philodendron silver stripe. A nice long vine on this one, large plant. So you can let this one trail up and get really big leaves, or you can let it uh, trail down. And you won't get quite as big of leaves, but personally I like the look of trailing plants better. But look at this leaf, how pretty. Philodendron Silver Stripe. And here it is. A nice, another long trailing. This is Philodendron Mykins. Beautiful plant. Quite long. Quite big. You can see there it dropped down. I kind of like put it up just for safety on my shelves, but you can see how trailing this plant is. Philodendron Mykins. Beautiful. And I have another Mykins. Something new. Something new that has not been in the shop before. Kind of there. I have the Philodendron Mykins Halo, Velvet Halo. I believe it's Velvet Halo. The a variegated Mykins, nice large plant for you. This is my favorite leaf right here. Look at this. So beautiful. Love all the different colors that are coming out on this. So you have kind of a kind of an olive green, yellowish. Then you have your white variegation, and then you have your brighter green here. Just gorgeous. Love this plant. First time in the shop. So exciting. And that is all the philodendron. So let's do, let's do some skindapsis, syndapsis. I have to train myself because I always would say skindapsis, but actually the C is silent. <laughs> syndapsis. Um, so I have a syndapsis silver cloud. Love the 
patterning on this one. It's gorgeous. Silver cloud in the shop. And I've had this one in the past, but it's been a while. This is the um, Syndapsis Jade Satin Variegated. Gorgeous, right? Another new leaf about to open here. And it looks like it'll have some nice variegation on it. Yeah, really pretty. I know I've had people ask me if I was going to have more of these in the shop. Well, here we go. And there should be more in a few of the next updates. So it's not the only one. I have a Syndapsis Silver Lady. She has a nice long vine on her. New leaf popped out. Another one with beautiful um, patterning on it. And this one is a little bit of a thinner leaf. A little bit thinner shape to the leaf. Yeah, Silver Lady. And then one of my favorites, the Silver Splash. Syndapsis Silver Splash. Love the patterning. I love Syndapsis. It's absolutely one of my favorite genus of plants. It's just, I just love it. Love it. This is, I don't have any of these yet for sale, but I'm very excited about how this plant is growing for me. And this is the um, tricolor. Look, look at the beauty. So beautiful. Not for sale. <laughs> this is my mother plant, but fairly soon I'll be propagating this one, but I just love it. It's so gorgeous. Very excited about that one. I have to take you on a tour of the grow tents. I, st I still plan to do that. <laughs> still, still in the plans. Okay, I think that's all the syndapsis. Oh, you know what? I do have another philodendron I forgot to include. Um, philodendron silver sword. Look at this cutie. Cute little starter plant for you. Love it. S beautiful silver. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of... Um, climbing philodendron but this is uh i think it's the color of the leaves that just draws me in just that beautiful blue silver green coloration so pretty love it available in the shop okay let's do some begonias and i do have i have a couple of um a couple of new ones that I haven't shared with you, or that I haven't put in my shop yet. I have shared them with you. You've seen my mother plants. But okay, first up, new one. This is the Begonia Paradoxa. Is it Paradoxa? Let me see here. Pretty sure. Uh, well, maybe I don't have other propagations of this one. I thought I did. Pretty sure um, Begonia Paradoxa Steve's Leaves. Look at that coloration. I love the pink spots on this one, like little dotting of pink. Nice big plant. Yeah. I'll have to be very careful packing this one up. I'm very careful with all my plants, but it's a larger plant and I feel like begonias are more delicate, but yeah, so this first time in the shop. If you love begonias, you will love that one. I do have another begonia Sinbad. You guys have seen this one here. Beautiful um, pink veining on this plant. That is in the shop this week. And a couple more that have been in the shop before. I have a begonia Manaus. Kind of a, a roundish gorgeous. Even the backs are just very pretty. Uh, look at that. It almost glows. It's glowing. So pretty. Begonia Manaus in the shop. And I have, uh, this has been in the shop before, Serata, Begonia Serata Patella. Another pink one. Beautiful. 
Love the serrated edges on this one. Probably why it's called Sara to Patella. <laughs> I'm sure that means serrated petals or serrated leaves or something like that. Beautiful in the shop. And let's see. Another new one and a big one. So this is, look at, look at this. This is Begonia Berkelii Silver Edge Form. And it's a beast. I was going to hang on to this one. Um, I, I do. It should be in this update. <laughs> it should be in this update. Um, I have the mother plants upstairs in my Ikea Millsbo cabinet. I don't need to. I really don't need to. Um, so this should be in the in the shop. It's gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. I just love it. In the shop, in this week's shop, should be in this week's shop update. And I think, let me see, did I get everything? I think that's it. So that, I think that's it. So there's some really fun stuff in this week's update, I think. And I'll be having more, um, lots of new fun stuff in the weeks ahead. And I'm propagating like crazy my, my begonias. I'll have more of the uh, bipinna. By, by to feed us. Not, not yet, not quite ready, but you can see that is in the works. I'm really trying to propagate a bunch of begonias for you guys. And um, if you watch this coming Sunday's video, you're going to see a bunch of begonias. So um, a little hint of what's to come. So yeah, you'll see this guy. Love this guy. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what is available in my shop, thepinktrellis.com. So I ship on Mondays and Tuesdays, and I ship priority mail. And um, once again, I've been saying this the last few weeks, it is getting to the colder months. And I do have heat packs in the shop. Um, they're $2 for a heat pack, and I recommend them if your daytime temperature is below 40 degrees Fahrenheit to add a heat pack to your package. Um, yeah, and I guess that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, even if you're not in the market for plants, I hope you enjoyed just seeing all these cute, cute plants. Cute, beautiful beautiful plants. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.